Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and Arnie does too. Now in today's video I'll be going through five of some of the largest freshwater fish in the world and I have to point out that this video is part three of a series and I've already gone through 10 fish that are thought to be some of the largest freshwater fish in the world. So if you think I've missed any fish out they're probably in the previous two videos. And to start off today we'll travel over to the rivers and lakes of North America as we have the white sturgeon. Now in the previous two videos I've not included sturgeons because the majority of them spend most of their time in salt water and only travel into freshwater to breed. But the white sturgeon can actually fulfill its whole life cycle in fresh water, as there are some areas in the US where white sturgeon are completely landlocked and are trapped in fresh water, with the Columbia River drainage being one of these areas. Now sturgeons look very similar to sharks, and just like sharks, sturgeon's skeletons are made of cartilage instead of bone, and instead of scales running along their body like most fish, the sturgeon's skin is covered in bony plates called scutes. The white sturgeon is a very slow growing fish, but they have a lot of time to grow to monstrous sizes as they're thought to live well over 100 years old, and the white sturgeon is often referred to as a prehistoric fish, as its shark-like body has remained relatively unchanged for over 175 million years. And juvenile white sturgeon are mainly bottom feeders, feeding mostly on crustaceans as well as eggs and fry of other fish species. But adult white sturgeon are mainly piscivorous, feeding on a variety of herring, shad, flounder and goby species. And they feed on these fish by sucking them up very quickly. And this feeding technique means that they have no need for teeth. So even though they're very big and can look quite scary, they pose no risk to humans unless they jump out of the water and land on you. And the white sturgeon population seems to be quite stable at the moment, but there's always an ongoing risk as some people poach this species because of its valuable caviar. Now for those of you who don't know, caviar is fish eggs. And most caviar that you can find on the market today are from sturgeon farms, but some people illegally kill wild sturgeon to harvest the eggs and sell them on. And it's thought the white sturgeon caviar can sell on the black market for around $100 to $150 a pound. Whereas if you bought caviar from a legal sturgeon farm, it can cost you anywhere from $40 to $700 an ounce. But there's ongoing efforts to stop this poaching, and luckily most of the white sturgeon caught by fishermen are caught on a catch and release basis, meaning that they can go on and live their life and hopefully reach produce and on their very fishy diet they can reach massive sizes as one of the largest white sturgeon ever recorded was a massive 6.1 meters long or 20 feet and to put that into perspective that's around one and a half Volkswagen Beetles and this massive fish weighed in at around 1,800 pounds or 816 kilos so the white sturgeon truly is one of the giants that lurks our fresh waters but for our next species we'll move around the world to Australia as we have the Murray Cod. Now this fish is endemic to Australia and can be found in the freshwaters of the Murray-Darling River drainage in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. Despite its name, it's not actually related to the saltwater cod at all and is part of a small genus that includes some very similarly looking fish, but these are obviously much smaller. And the Murray cod is an ambush predator and prefers to lie in wait for its food to come by. And because of this, it can normally be found in areas with lots of sunken wood and places to hide. And in the wild, it mainly feeds on fishes, but is known to feed on a lot of food items, such as mollusks, turtles and small terrestrial animals, such as birds, mammals, and snakes. And although this species is very big, giants are pretty rare nowadays, as there used to be a lot more Murray cod on this planet than there is now, as Murray cod were severely overfished for their very high valued meat. As in 1929, a South Australian newspaper published that since 1900, nearly 11,703 tons of Murray cod had been caught and eaten by the people of Melbourne, so it really was a substantial operation. But luckily nowadays they are protected, as there are limits on how many Murray cod you can catch, and possess or trading of the Murray Cod is prohibited unless you have a permit, so hopefully in the future we'll get to see more giants. But the largest on record measured over 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet, and this individual weighed 113 kilograms or 249 pounds. And this is around the same weight as a South American fur seal or a spectacled bear. But hopefully more can be done to protect this species and we'll see more giants in the future. But for our next fish we'll move over to the freshwaters of Africa as we have the infamous African tigerfish. Now the African tigerfish is made mainly found in Tanzania and the Democratic Republic of Congo, as most often found in large lakes and rivers, including Lake Tanganyika. And there's no getting away from the fact that this fish looks very scary, but actually poses very little threat to humans as they're mainly piscivorous. But there has been some unconfirmed reports of this species mistaking people for fish and taking large chunks out of them. And with those teeth, 
you really just have to pray for the best. But the African tiger fish has been likened to the piranha. This is because they both have large interlocking teeth and often hunt in packs to pick off prey. But the African tiger fish is known to not only limit itself to freshwater fish, as it was the first freshwater fish recorded and confirmed to attack and catch birds in flight. So if you're anywhere near or around the water, you're fair game for this fish. And feeding in this very aggressive manner, they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 1.8 meters or 6 feet and weigh around 70 kilograms or 154 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around two and a half Dalmatians. But I have to say so far on this list, this has to be the scariest fish. But for our next species, we'll be moving over to the very desolate and sparsely populated Mongolia, as we have the Taman. Now this fish can be found in Russia as well as Mongolia, and the Taman is actually the largest member of the salmon family. And the Taman is a predator, and they have been known to hunt their prey in packs, and this has earned them the title of the River Wolf. And in these packs, they normally feed on fish and eat in their own species. And this iconic fish is deeply rooted in Mongolian legend, as there's a tale of a giant taman that was trapped in river ice, and starving herders were able to survive the winter by hacking off pieces of its flesh. But in the spring, the ice melted and the giant taman climbed onto the land and tracked down the herders, eating them all. And although they don't reach the sizes stated in the legend, they still reach a very respectable 2.1 meters long, or just under 7 feet. And at this size, they weigh around 105 kilos or 231 pounds. And the wolf of the river really lives up to its name as an apex predator. But for our next species, we'll move westward as we have the beluga sturgeon. Now, I didn't really want to feature this fish on the list, but I'm getting way too many comments about it, so I'll just give in. Now, the beluga sturgeon is mainly found in the Caspian and Black Sea basins. And if you search anywhere, on Google, it will tell you that this fish is the largest freshwater fish in the world. But I think this is slightly misleading, because even though juveniles can be found upriver, adult beluga sturgeon spend the majority of their life in the Caspian and Black Seas. And even though the Black Sea has about half the salinity of the ocean, it still isn't fresh water. But the one thing there is no getting away from is its size, as the beluga even rivals the Great White Shark and Greenland Shark for the title of largest active predatory fish. And they feed in a very similar way to the white sturgeon, as the prey is sucked into their mouth very quickly, giving them no chance for escape. And this species mainly feeds on fish, such as various goby and mullet species, but this giant is also known to eat its own kind. But unfortunately, this giant is critically endangered, because just like the white sturgeon, their caviar is very valuable, and the catching and slaughtering of these species has been very mismanaged. But it's not only the caviar that the fishermen are after, as its meat is said to taste similar to swordfish, and its air bladder is used in the process to make beers and wine. And as I covered, the beluga sturgeon travels upriver to spawn, and fishermen normally lie in wait at river mouths to catch these giant fish before they have a chance to make it upriver and reproduce. And because of this unsustainable practice, many countries, including the United States, have banned imports of beluga caviar and other beluga products from the Caspian Sea. So because of its conservation status, giants are quite hard to come by nowadays. But the largest specimen ever recorded was around 7.2 meters long, or just under 24 feet. And this specimen weighed in at around 1,600 kilos, or around 3,500 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same weight as a Pacific walrus, or longer than a giraffe is tall. So although I wouldn't really call it a freshwater fish, it is one of the biggest fish in the world. But that's about it for this list. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for fish that could be on these lists, and I might end up making another video. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And until next time, goodbye.